Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a lemon icebox pie with a twist. My favorite pie in the summertime is always anything citrus and lemon icebox pie is at the top of the list. Now, this is just not your ordinary lemon icebox pie. This pie is light and creamy and oh so good. Now, I've already added one can of sweetened condensed milk to a medium-sized saucepan. And I've got my heat on medium. Everyone that I've ever served it to says it's the best they've ever had. And I would have to agree. I've tried lots of recipes and there is none better than this in my humble opinion. <laughs> and next, I've got four extra large egg yolks. I've already separated my eggs and these are going in. If you have smaller eggs, then use five egg yolks instead of four. You just want to make sure that this will set up. So four to five egg yolks is perfectly fine. Now I have some fresh squeezed lemon juice. You can definitely take a shortcut route and buy some lemon juice from the grocery store. I do that fairly often. And my favorite is the frozen Minute Maid lemon juice. It's the best. It's fresh squeezed. And honestly, when I cheat a little bit, I can't tell one bit. So there's my tip. Now I'm going to mix this together. I want to break up all those egg yolks and make sure that this is all well blended. Now we do have one more ingredient to add to our pie filling and that is sour cream. That's the twist to this lemon icebox pie. Now what I'm going to do is just bring this to a very low boil. You want to make sure that you don't walk away from this and I'll tell you why. Number one, you don't want to scorch the bottom. You want to keep stirring it. And number two, if you walk away from it, it's going to start exploding. And so you will have bubbles that rise to the top and splatter everything on your kitchen. How do I know? <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> Once this comes to that nice low boil, I'm going to cook this for about a minute and stir it constantly. Whoop, there was one of those bubbles. Be really careful. I finished boiling the filling and it looks perfect. See, you can just tell it starts thickening up. When you put in a spoon, it's just going to stick to the spoon with no drips. Mm. Oh, that is already delicious. Now I'm going to let this mixture cool off. It doesn't have to be completely cooled. We don't want it boiling hot because then it'll change the molecular structure to your sour cream. And we want this pie to stay nice and thick so we can cut it and serve it. So I'm going to let this hang out for just a little bit until it's no longer steaming hot, and then we'll add that sour cream. While my filling is cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and make the topping for this pie. I am making some homemade fresh whipped cream. I just think it is delicious. Now you can definitely top this with Cool Whip or just whatever you like. And I'm adding two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of powdered sugar to one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm also adding just a dash of vanilla. I'm using clear vanilla simply because I want to keep it nice, bright, and white. Just a little bit. Now to give it a boost in flavor, I'm adding some fresh lemon zest. And also we're gonna add a little bit of this fresh lemon zest 
to our filling. I just want to wait until it cools off a little bit before I do. Now this is going in. I'm going to mix this at high speed until stiff peaks form. This looks just right. I want to taste it, make sure that I got it sweet enough. Mm. Oh. That is perfect. Now, if you want it on the sweeter side, then just add a little bit more sugar. That is just fine. And I can taste the lemon zest in there. It just gives it a little pop. It's not overwhelming. It just tastes fresh. Mm. Just what we're looking for. Now, I'm going to let this hang out in the refrigerator until my filling has cooled down. And it's doing quite nicely. Look, it's thickening up really well. I'm going to go put this in the fridge, and by the time I get all this cleaned up, we should be ready to add that sour cream and then add our filling to our pie crust. My filling has cooled down. It's still warm, but as long as it's not, like I said, steaming hot, then you're okay. Now, if you are a very patient person, then you can let it cool down completely. I, on the other hand, am not patient. I want to get her done. Now, I'm taking a little bit more of this zest, and I'm adding it to this lemon pie. Don't skip this step. Even if you use store-bought lemon juice, buy a lemon and use the zest. It really makes a difference. And it's so pretty when you have those flecks of lemon zest in your pie. Just gives it a little extra something something. So funny. Well, really, it's not funny, <laughs> but it's kind of funny. My husband likes the lemon zest if he doesn't see it. If I sprinkle lemon zest on the top of my pie, he is a no-go. But if it's inside the pie, he's perfectly fine with it. I don't know how I married such a picky eater, but I sure do love him. <laughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and stir the sour cream right in. Now, I don't want to whisk my sour cream. I want to fold it in because I want to keep it a little fluffy. It's going to soften up just a little bit because it's hitting that warm pie filling, but it will firm back up once it's refrigerated. Look at this. The sour cream just gives it this creamy, decadent texture and flavor. Like I said, I've been making this for over 30 years and I have not found a recipe yet that even comes close. Now, I just want to give it a little taste before I put it into my pie crust and make sure that we don't need to add anything else. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is so good. And once it's chill, it's going to be so refreshing. Now I have my par baked pie crust. You can use whatever crust you like. I love the lemon pie in just a regular basic crust. You can use a frozen or refrigerated, make your own, whatever it is you like. And I tell you something else. This is also really good in a graham cracker crust. I've cooked it. I've let it cool. You don't have to let it cool because the pie filling is a little warm, so no biggie there. Just make sure if you do buy a store-bought pie crust that you get the deep dish. If you happen to get the regular pie crust, this will make two pies. I've got some press and seal. You can use cling wrap. I'm just going to take a piece and put it right over the top. This is going to help the pie from getting that film that can sometimes form on the top. And this is going in the refrigerator until it chills through completely. Now, I'll say that this is best when you make it the day ahead. As many things are, the longer it sits, the better it gets. But if you can't 
do that, just make sure that you leave it in the refrigerator for at least four hours. You want it to chill completely. In just a bit, we'll top it and I'll show you how beautiful and delicious this pie is. Well, my pie has finished chilling. I'm going to top this with this beautiful whipped cream. I'm not piling this whipped cream just super high. If you want to double my whipped cream recipe, you can definitely use two cups of heavy cream and a quarter cup of your powdered sugar. By the way, this is also delicious with the meringue. If you'd like to use a meringue topping, look up my recipe on Facebook or YouTube for an Italian meringue. It is absolutely out of this world. Now I'm just gonna swirl this around and I want to leave a little bit of this lemon filling peeking through. And to top it off and let everybody know what it is, I've got some lemon slices. Remember I told you that Jimmy doesn't like the lemon zest on the top. Well, what I haven't told you is this is his Father's Day pie. He loves lemon icebox pie, so I am making this for his Father's Day, and I'm just gonna leave it in the fridge and let it chill. Normally, I would cut this for y'all, and I'm sure if I did slice the piece, and eat one, Jimmy would not mind, but I want a beautiful presentation. We're having kids over and the grandkids, so I know that this is gonna hit the spot for everyone. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching. Will you press the like button and share this video with your friends? That would really bless me. Also, if you haven't already, go to Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook and YouTube and subscribe to my page and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Well, into the refrigerator this goes. I can tell you it's going to be really hard not to cut a slice of this before Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Love y'all.